Let's first make our way back to the daycare center. Bella should be done by now. And uh, the daycare man is standing outside, so we know what time it is. <laughs> Have you been naughty? <laughs> Yeah, we're going to get an egg. So we have opportunity to get ourselves another Oddish if we would like. Naughty Bella. <laughs> but I think she should be uh, about done when it comes to leveling up. I want her to actually reach the level where she can evolve into Gloom. Because I still have my Sunstone that I'd like to use. 15 levels, I think, is good enough. It puts her on level... I'm not too sure what she was anymore. <laughs> 20. Okay. Uh, I think that's good enough. Or perhaps not quite, but um, I'll look that up later. If she's a couple of levels short, I'll uh, do some grinding with her. For the evolution into Gloom. Get you uh, away from me, stupid egg. I don't want you. <laughs> and Bella I'm also going to take a look at later. Not precisely too sure what the level is required in order to evolve into Gloom. Magnus, let's get you back. And Joffrey. That should be good enough for the upcoming dungeon. Let's remember to also uh, deposit Eve. Because I need to put somebody in the daycare center now, of course. Another evolution I would like to see. going to be you. Because I don't think there's any better option right now. Let's get out Xander. Or little Natu. I would actually like to see you evolve into a Zatu, so... <laughs> you are up next. Already pretty high level, so... Um, this is probably not going to take too long. It's going to be very interesting. And now let's return to my main team, with the daycare center business taken care of. Return to box 4, so we have some room to catch Pokémon. And withdraw, of course. Um, Eve. Let's keep Ferdinand in for now. We don't need a flying type, because we are pretty much already where we need to be. <laughs> we don't need fly where we're going. You're up first, Eve. Everybody at level 32. That was taken care of last week. With my grinding session. Off screen, <laughs> of course. <laughs> so, hello everyone. Shriek's here. And welcome to chapter 8 of Pokemon Silver. Partwise, this is going to be part 38. And we're up for another long chapter. Because the route towards Blackthorn City is going to be a long one. First up, we're going to start off with another main side quest you might say story wise required but we're also going to have to do this before moving on team rocket is apparently causing some more ruckus remember how they were actually working with radio signals and golden rod city happens to have a radio tower i think that is the place where we need to start looking pokemon they're nothing more than tools for making money spoken like a true rocket <laughs> Uh, the radio tower's over here. No, it's not. <laughs> One corridor below it. Here we need to be. And Team Rocket indeed seems to be present. Take over the radio tower. What? It's none of your business. Well, I think it is actually, because uh, I've already stopped you before, so... <laughs> the radio tower has been taken over by Team Rocket. Let's go in and see... If we can kick them out again. <laughs> we have finally taken over the radio tower. 
Now, everyone will get to experience the true terror of Team Rocket. We will show you how scary we are. Alright, second Rocket Dungeon in a row. After the previous chapter, we're already starting with another one. <laughs> and of course, they're going to have the same Pokémon that we're used to. A bit higher level, of course, because of being later in the game. But I'm also higher level, so I'm not afraid of you guys. Schmeck! <laughs> Looks like I need two of those. However, a weaker move should also work. There's plenty of work to do in this tower, so let's not waste any PP <laughs> on the powerful moves we have. Another Reticate. Eve can stay out as long as she has not leveled up yet. Iron Tail. Once again, a hit. It's never a guarantee with a move like that. <laughs> Defense down, so bite is good enough to finish it off. Close to a level up already. Well, that was the only uh, rocket on the ground floor, so let's move up to the first floor. A couple of uh, employees are still running around here. But here, we also find rockets. Ha ha ha! How boring! It was far too easy to take over this place. Come on, keep me amused. Um, I think the moment the battle's over, you're not going to be amused anymore. <laughs> Looks like you only have one Pokémon. It is going to be an Arbok. And not even that high level. Should be able to take you out in one hit. If I'm able to hit you. Takes two tries, apparently. But also two hits. <laughs> ah, crap. It's way too early in this dungeon to already get poisoned. <laughs> 8, 19. At least we have to level up. Eve grows to level 33. Well, Eve is going to um, disband in the lead position, of course. However, I'm also too lazy to actually um, get out of here, so... Time to actually Kristen sit in the A-team. I did promise I was going to use him at some point in the A-team. As you can see, now is going to be the time. <laughs> Next rocket. We are Team Rocket. The exploiters of Pokémon. We love being evil. Scared? I always like it when bad guys are aware that they are bad guys. <laughs> five Pokémon this guy has, man. They're probably going to be uh, five boring Rattatas. <laughs> oh yeah, this is one thing I could note. I actually um, gave Sid the technical machine for Fury Cutter. Remember that? The one we actually got from um, the Azalea Gym after beating Bugsy <laughs> a really long time ago. Because otherwise, uh, at this level, Scyther does not have a Bug-type move. So I actually gave him the Bug-type technical machine that I still had lying around. <laughs> Pretty strong move. Usually you do need a couple of turns before it becomes strong. It's a move that actually becomes stronger the more you use it in battle. Wing Attack is actually an especially powerful flying-type move for this point in the game. Just watch. Kills pretty much everything in one hit, even if it's not super effective. Very powerful move to use. <laughs> also one of the reasons why I like Scyther so much. He learns at pretty low level, so... Wing attack, very viable asset. The moment Pokémon are a little bit below your level, it's very easy to take pretty much everything out in one hit. It's going to be a lot of free experience points for Sid here. Not afraid of you. <laughs> and there goes another one. 
the last one. Indeed, also a Redditor. Five Redditors. The only reason I don't mind it as much is because it is very easy to win. <laughs> only took a handful of damage. And we are done here. Looks like in the top left there's another trainer. While Eve is slowly dying to poison. <laughs> hey, hey! Keep out of our way! Are you going to start rhyming now? <laughs> I don't think I like that as much, sir. This guy at least only has two Pokémon. First one is Zubat. Another known victim. Flying and poison. Um, let's do False Swipe. It's also a move you haven't seen yet. Also pretty damaging for a normal type move. <laughs> and we also have Pursuit. So Sid also is equipped with a dark type move. Very versatile Pokémon. Flying type move, normal type move, dark type move, and of course a bug type move. <laughs> Second Zubat. Let's use False Swipe again. I want to use Wing Attack, but um, Zubat is also a flying type of course, so... Oh, thank you for confusing me. Let's get lucky. Thank you. <laughs> there we go. And that leaves only one more rocket on this floor. Because I already saw you standing on the left, sir. Let's take you on. Three years ago, Team Rocket was forced to disband. But we are making a comeback here! I'm pretty sure I already named one of my episodes Rocket Comeback, so I can't do that again, I think. <laughs> Grimer. New to this place, at least. Wing attack, and you're gone in one hit. Thank you. Yeah, most of the Pokémon aren't worth a whole lot of experience in here. <laughs> so leveling up does go quite slowly. Wing attack again. It's very fortunate wing attack is such a powerful move, but also one that actually has a lot of PP. It's not a move that only gets 10 PP. You can actually use it quite a lot, so... <laughs> well, Muck looks interesting. Evolved form of Grimer. Also the first time we see it in this game, I'm pretty sure, so... And this guy's strong enough to actually take my wing attack. And if you're truly that strong, you're probably also going to be the first Pokémon to drop a lot of XP here. Guaranteeing! Level 33 for Sid! Well, it was a very good start for you in the A-Team, Sid. You've definitely already proved your worth in it. Let's go switch to somebody else now. <laughs> Fairy! You've been in the A-Team since the start. But you're still a part of it. <laughs> Second floor. Or third floor, depending on uh, where they start counting. <laughs> I've been given strict orders. I am to crush anyone who challenges Team Rocket. Just like everybody in here. But every single one of you is going to fall. Four Pokémon. First one coughing. Well, at least every single trainer so far has been um, diverse, I must admit. Not a single um, set has been repeating so far. We're seeing all of the usual suspects, but still. Besides two trainers that actually used Reticate and Rattata, we're seeing all different evolution lines <laughs> on all of these trainers. But now it seems things are going to change because we get ourselves a Grimer now. And that's something the previous trainer also already had. Oh, Minimize. That's a new move. As you can see, any Pokémon using Minimize will turn into a small variant of itself. And therefore making it a lot harder to hit. <laughs> Basically saying it increases evasion. Giving you a much higher chance of uh, avoiding somebody's attack. But Surf actually has 99% guarantee of hitting, so even with Minimize, 
That is going to hit. <laughs> last one is Zubat. Oh, wait, not the last one. There's two Pokémon left. <laughs> Excuse me. Surf's up. Should be one hit. Yeah, of course. And last one, Rattata. Well, at least this trainer had four different evolution lines of his Pokémon. <laughs> Every single one of them in the basic form, but still. Rattata, Coughing, Zubat and Grimer. Not a problem for Fairy. Well, there's plenty of uh, people here, so... It feels great! ordering Pokémon to commit crimes. Yeah, because why would you do it yourself? <laughs> Way too hard to do it yourself. Let the Pokémon do it. <laughs> Here's the evolved form of coughing, wheezing. Basically two coughings attached to each other. Always looked interesting, I think. At level 26, pretty sure it's not able to survive the surf. Indeed. Especially if it's critical. <laughs> Ooh, almost level up. Need one more battle, fairy. And it looks like there's still a professor dude here. An unknown child wandering here. Who are you? I am the legendary chosen one. <laughs> Alright, Mr. Scientist. Three Pokémon. Scientists um, are a little bit different compared to regular rockets. They usually uh, have electric-type Pokémon. Most of all, Magnemites. <laughs> As you may remember. So, let's get Fairy out of here. And let's get Joffrey in here. Forcing him to use normal-type moves. Lock on. He's going to guarantee his next move is going to hit. However, I doubt... It's going to work against Dig. <laughs> oh, <laughs> even then it will hit. <laughs> However, it's not going to help you because you're still down in one hit. But interesting to know, whenever you use a um, guaranteed hit move, like Lock On for instance, even when using Fly or Dig, even then it will hit. <laughs> Something I kind of forgot about, but... Um, yeah, apparently it works like that. Magnitude. You are a Magnemite after all, so let's use Magnitude. <laughs> oh, word jokes. Third one is also Magnemite. Nothing interesting here. Bye. Magnitude 9. Taking down this whole building. <laughs> That was the first scientist of this place. Three Magnemites. Before leaving this floor, let's go talk to you. The Team Rocket boss has locked himself in. But the director can open it. He's up on the fifth floor. Please, save him. Oh yeah, I can see it now on the right. There's indeed a locked door here. And in order to get in there... We need the director, who's on the fifth floor. So, we still need to climb a bit higher. And here is also a rocket. You plan to rescue the director? That won't be possible. Because I'm going to beat you. Depends on what your Pokémon are. If you've got a uh, level 70 legendary all of a sudden, then I think I'm going to lose indeed. <laughs> but otherwise, knowing what you always have, around level 20, 25 poison types, I don't think I have to be afraid of you. As you can see. Oh yeah, of course, very leveled up, so I should have switched. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, Andros. He's going to put out a flying type, so... I'm going to put in an electric type. Thunder Punch. Here's one more. 
Oh, that was worth a lot of experience points. <laughs> Last one's Grimer. That's probably not going to be 800 XP. More like 200 or 300, probably. Maybe even 400. Yeah, 400. <laughs> nice job, Andros. It looks like you're not the only one. Also, let's not forget to switch to you, of course. Switch. Top position. Alright, looks like you're not the only trainer here. There's also a scientist on this floor. Most excellent. This radio tower will fulfill our grand design. And what is your grand design? We did already see uh, your experiment at the Lake of Rage, but what you're actually trying to achieve here... Porygon, by the way. <laughs> we still do not know yet. Perhaps after talking to the boss. First we're going to get rid of this Porygon. Needs two hits. Here comes the second one. There we go. Level 30 does not scare me, sir. <laughs> Let's continue to the next floor and find Mr. Director.